China is preparing for war with the United States. Chinese President Xi Jinping has publicly criticized the U.S. and accused it of leading a Western attempt to contain his country. Foreign Minister Qin Gang also warned Washington to hit the brakes or risk conflict and confrontation. Western countries led by the United States have implemented all-round containment, encirclement and suppression of China, which has brought unprecedented severe challenges to our nation's development. She said in a rare verbal attack as quoted by state media. The Chinese leader was meeting with industry and business groups during an annual gathering of an advisory body to the Communist Party. His speech focused on the national economy with the remark about Washington's policy illustrating what he called uncertain and unpredictable factors in the international environment. She normally refrains from targeted criticism of the US. Michael Swain, a senior research fellow at the Quincy Institute for Responsible Statecraft, told the New York Times that, to his knowledge, it was the first time the Chinese leader has publicly come out and identified the US as taking such actions. Meanwhile, another senior Chinese official accused Washington of using underhanded tactics. The US claims that it seeks to outcompete China but does not seek conflict. Yet in reality, its so-called competition means to contain and suppress China in all respects. Foreign Minister Qin Gang said in a speech on the sidelines of an ongoing session of the Chinese legislature. He compared the US government to an athlete trying to trip their opponent instead of giving its best performance. Washington wants Beijing not to push back when it is targeted by such action or slander, the minister suggested, adding that this was not possible. The U.S. trajectory could lead to a disaster that no guardrails would be able to prevent, he warned. If the U.S. does not hit the brakes but continues to speed down the wrong path, no amount of guardrails can prevent derailing and there will surely be conflict and confrontation, said Chin, who previously served as the Chinese ambassador to the U.S. 